Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about Dragon Single, which uh, by Anne McCaffrey, which is the second in the uh, Harper Hall trilogy inside the uh, even bigger series, Dragon Riders of Pwn. So I didn't really like this one that much, and I think me and Anne are going to have to call it a day because I'm really not enjoying these as much as I thought I was going to. You know guys, I gave it full books. Um, that's more than I usually give series, because I was just expecting something to happen, but alas, um, for a book that's only 260 pages, nothing happened. Which is real, because, like, you look at other books, like Gone with the Wind, which are 1100 pages, and so much happens in such little time. So, I don't know, this story didn't really have much of a plot, it was just things happening, um, Melanie is mentally sorry as a new a apprentice in the Harper hall and all the boys are like we don't want to teach you because you're a girl yeah girls suck and all the girls are like we can't be friends with you because you're a musician and musicians are cool so you're an outsider so you know every time like she tries to be friends with somebody nobody wants to be friends with her because she's an outsider and then that goes on for like 150 pages with really nothing happening at all. But with the power of music and fire lizards on her side, Mel Melanie is able to make great music. And um, she's teaching everybody about fire lizards. And yeah, just nothing happens. <laughs> and then she has like these dreams, this like crazy prophetic dream about fire lizards and um, turns out that these fire lizards are psychic and they could see stuff that happens on the other side of the planet and so the fire lizards could communicate with dragons through dreams and um, Melanie could see what's going Melanie could see what's going on so now the fire lizards they're telepaths but nothing really happens in this book it's all just set up so then at the end, it's still like, well, you know, even though we hate you for being a girl, you, you are great at making music, so now you're a Johnny man, or a Johnny woman. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. It's real, it took me like two weeks to read this book, and nothing happened. It's so crazy, like, um, at least with the Coleman Strike books, well, you know, at least stuff happens. At least I'm engaged. It's not just nonsense. It feels like the plot's actually moving in those. With this, it's just... I don't know. It's weird. Like... Okay, take the Queen's Gambit. You know, that's a great book. Um, a book about a young girl who's a prodigy at something that's usually, you know, a man's thing. That's a great book because it actually develops. The character actually, like goes through a bunch of hardships, but with this, it's just like, point A, point B, it just, I don't know, it just feels like there's nothing pushing the plot forward, so, I don't really want to offend anybody who doesn't like this book, um, because I'm sure there's a lot of people who do, you know, um, full book written in the 70s and it's still read by people today, it must have its share of fans, but, I'm sorry guys, but I'm not one of them, so, I think I'm done with the porn series for now. Also, I can't pronounce it. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to be reading The Late Dragon or all those other books because I think she made like 20 of them. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me get, let me know what you guys thought of Dragon Single and this series as a whole. Uh, do you like it more than I do? Do you hate it more than I do? Please, lend me your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace.